Time now for Sid 60. This is where I got 60 seconds to talk, talk, talk. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. When someone says Ric Flair, I think of this. 16-time world champion. Styling and profiling. Woo! <laughs> Cutting the best wrestling promos in the business. Greatest wrestler of all time. Yeah, I said it. That was then. This is now. Flair is 73 years old, and last month, he took part in his final match in Nashville, Tennessee. As you can see, some were concerned about Flair getting into the ring one last time as he hugs the ropes like a long-lost relative. But if this was indeed Flair's last ride, a lot of people wanted to watch, including some of the business's all-time greats. Right here in the front row, left to right, that night in Nashville, Bret Hart, Mick Foley, The Undertaker. This image might as well be wrestling's Mount Rushmore. Ric Flair has officially retired. Let's hope for his sake <laughs> and his body, it stays that way. Jeff Rahoman of City News 680 and City News Toronto joining us, wrestling encyclopedia. Uh, Jeff, great, great to see you. Tell me this is it for the nature boy or the, or the uh, nature older man. Tell me. I'm I mean, Sid, I want to say it is, but as we know in wrestling, you, you never say never. I think he already tweeted out like, oh, I regret having my last match because now I have all kinds of offers coming in. Um, if you watched the match, it probably should have been his last match. He probably shouldn't have even had that match. Um, I think before it, he tweeted out something along the lines of like, oh, you know, the only thing that might go wrong is my pacemaker where it's OK. Like that could be an issue. Um, so, yeah, I think that hopefully it is his last match, but. You know, in these guys, you know, they get the itch and then a year down the line, he might need a little bit of money and suddenly we see him back in the ring again. He actually, and I'm not making this up or making light, in the match last month, there was a bit where he faked a heart attack and then poked the guy in the eyes when he wasn't ready. Like, that happened. That was part of the match. I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, that happened. Uh, but I, I listen, I love Ric Flair. I hope he's done. Let's, let's assume he's done. Although you're right, offers are going to come in left to right indie circuits around North America. It's tempting. Yeah. Let's go big picture because that photo of Bret Hart, Foley, and The Undertaker with Flair. That, yeah, let's show it again. This is, this is one of the images I'll always remember from the business. Jeff, I don't mean to get you ratioed here on Twitter and social media. Give me your top five wrestlers ever. Ever. Oh, boy. Ever. Uh, Flair, for sure. Bret Hart, for sure. Uh, probably Shawn Michaels is in there. Um, Undertaker did that character for, like, 30 years, which is unheard of. What is that for? Then maybe Austin, The Rock, something like that. But Ric Flair has is, is got to be top of the line as far as actual in-ring work goes. You know, he was uh, the promos, like you said, the strut. You can't hear that music without doing a strut um, a la Ric Flair. I think even you, when you went into the Humber Radio Hall of Fame, did a little Ric Flair strut. I think, yeah, uh, and, it's true. And when, he th and when he threw out the, the first pitch at the Jays game, too, like that's a, such a pop culture thing. So... Yeah, Flair, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, and then a toss-up, Undertaker, Rock, Austin, something like that. 30 seconds. Why Shawn Michaels? I respect his career a great deal. Yeah. You put him that high? Oh, his in-ring work is incredible. You look at his WrestleMania matches, unbelievable. Always five stars. He was a jerk um, if you take away everything <laughs> that he did backstage. He was. Um, but in the ring, he was fantastic. Uh, would always have good matches. Could have a good match with, with just about anyone. I, I mean, I, I left out Hulk Hogan, too, who was obviously the, you know, the biggest wrestler of all time. But yeah, Shawn Michaels, uh, his in-ring work is, is second to none. The Hogan leaving out as we go, though, it's an, maybe it's a whole separate chat. Because yeah. he, like, I, I don't see how a guy who lifted the business the way Hogan did can be left off so many top five lists of all time. Because yeah. it, it, yeah. it happens constantly because his in-ring work was awful. It was, it, was, it was holding the finger to the ear in a leg drop and then he'd leave. It's basically yeah. it. Anyway, topic for another day. We're geeking out on wrestling. Don't act like you don't like it. Don't act like you don't like it. Jeff Rahoman from City News 680, City News Toronto. Appreciate you, man.